a student has been trying to minimize an objective function of a standard minimization problem. They use the matrix transpose operation to form the dual problem, perform the simplex method, and arrive at the following final tableau. We want to determine what the minimum value of the primal problem would be, and at what point that occurs, as well as what the maximum value of the dual problem would be, and at what point that occurs. Looking at the variables associated with the columns across the top, this tells us that y sub one, y sub two, and y sub three would be the variables of the objective function of the dual problem, and x sub one and x sub two would be the slack variables of the dual problem, but also the variables used in the objective function of the primal problem or minimization problem. Also, the minimum value of the primal problem is the same as the maximum value of the dual problem indicated by the final tableau. So looking at our last row here, notice that P is active. We say P is active because this column contains only a one and zeros, which means one P or P equals 500. So this means the minimum value of the primal problem is 500, which is also the maximum value of the dual problem. And now to find the point at which the minimum value of the primal problem occurs, we look at the last entry of the columns associated with the slack variables, which again are the variables used in the objective function of the primal problem. So x sub one equals nine, and x sub two equals two. So the point at which the minimum value occurs for the primal problem would be x sub one comma x sub two, or in this case, nine comma two. And now to determine the maximum value of the dual problem, we'll analyze the rows associated with the active variables. Again, notice that y sub one and y sub two are active. Notice that y sub three is not active, so we can determine the value of the active variables from our tableau, all of the inactive or non-basic variables are set equal to zero. And I say active variables, but some sources do say basic variables instead. So notice that one y one or y one equals one hundred, one y two or y two equals two hundred seventy five, and y sub three is inactive, and therefore y sub three equals zero. So our point would be y sub one comma y sub two comma y sub three. So the point is one hundred comma two hundred seventy five comma zero. I hope you found this helpful.